You guys, it's Mary and Alma. We invite you guys to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below, y'all, because it seems like the Golden State Warriors have decided to cheat their way to the championship. <laughs> That's what it seems like. Well, because you know, how, like, it well, just don't make no sense. AD leaves said. in a wheelchair. I know. He had to be wheeled out. Now, full disclosure, I did not watch the game. And the reason why I didn't watch this game was that, she already first saw. of all, it's hard for me to watch games. Um, the older I get, I find like, and, and <laughs> look, I have a heart problem, <laughs> and I mean real talk, and I find that my heart can't take it, like how it used to before. When I'm like, oh yes, come on, I'll be there eat my lasagna and my cheesecake and drink my coke, my cherry coke, right, with the green and the cherries. I'm like, come on, y'all, you can do it. Whoa, and I am watching all the way to the last breath, to the last, 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 okay? And I'm like, look, it is not over to the fat lady sings, and I ain't singing. All right, okay. Anyway, I can't do that anymore because of my condition. So I don't really, I don't watch the games. I don't. I watch them later. After I have seen who has won and who has lost, okay? <laughs> right now, you all, we is in Africa. We're in Tanzania. So I don't want to put any kind of stuff out there in the atmosphere because if I put anything out there in the atmosphere, even if it's a little bit of fear, it goes straight into the universe and it's going to affect my Lakers and I refuse. So nothing but positivity here, okay? Now, LeBron did look a little shook. <laughs> In the post game, he did. He, he like poor pressure. LeBron James. He was there. He had a do rag. He had his hoodie. <laughs> he kept trying to pull up his hoodie. I'm like LeBron, you got a do rag. You don't have to worry about that hairline. It's not coming off because you got the do rag already. Leave the hoodie alone. He kept a, um, you know, but the you know the medical people say it's okay, you know, so up. <laughs> it was like it was hard to watch, man. No. They oh. tried to get this man to legs several different times. They did. Okay. Like throughout, so that did not throughout work. this series, they've been pushing him around and everything. I Drake been trying to look. put his whole big body on him. I know. That was that last and, game and when yes, he fell was. on top of him. Like, I saw what you did to that white man. You are not going to stump on my chest. All right. Like, <laughs> you, better, you better move. He's like, you yeah. better move. Better get your big tail off, off of me. me. All right. And Shoot. now they have decided, okay, we're going to go for the juggler. Let's go for so his Kevin head. So said, hey, let me just... Let me let just me, knock you. Let me so just... what can we do? Can we knock him out? Can we do his arm? But he can't really do the arm because he's seven foot, right? Anyway, I'm not it trying just, to... It's real dirty. It's real shisty. We, this is the only way y'all could win the game through cheating and harming AD. Were you that worried? Like, it don't make no sense. It just, it was a very dirty, dirty game, in my opinion. I mean, last Like, how game, you put a man I, in a wheelchair? Like, like, the man is eight years old, gotta be rolled out the game. Like, what is that? No, last game, I did That's see LeBron dirty. pushing around a little bit. But, I I mean, I didn't feel bad about that because, Draymond's, oh my God, this fly is really driving me nuts right now. LeBron there. barely gets dirty. With Draymond, that's like his go-to. Like, everybody knows him to be a yeah. little bit of a dirty player. Like, yeah. I mean, we all know him. But, like, the fact that you... Stumped on a man's chest and hopscotched over his ass. <laughs> like, it, like you were a 10 year old girl playing hopscotch in her front porch. He said, like, You gonna hold my leg? How about this? How about it? Ooh, gonna get my two step on. <laughs> like, now they have gotten AD. I don't even know if he's gonna be able to come back. You know, the No, old he is. We're not putting. Listen, yes. girl. Okay. He is here yes. As a he's gonna come back. Put that out he's gonna atmosphere. come back. And AD, he put out here. He goes straight in the universe. We okay. Well, I'm gonna put this in the universe. The positive. Yes. We're gonna AD put gonna this come in the back. universe. This is gonna age very well. Yes. Okay. The Lakers are going to beat the Warriors. Game six. They're going to the finals. Yes. It's going to happen. It AD will. is gonna come back stronger than ever. Yes. He's gonna be healed. He, God is going to perform a miracle like that. Yes. Because God don't like ugly. And what y'all did was very ugly. I well, put that out in the universe. Well, you know. Can I get an amen? Well, this is what I'm going to say. Amen. It, I mean, I did look at the play. I did look at the play. It didn't seem dirty. It really didn't seem like intentional. Mm -hmm. I do know that Kevin Looney, 80, has gotten the best of him. In the paint. No one can really stop. I mean, Kevon, don't feel bad because no one can really stop. I AD. don't think he feel bad. AD is the best, like, defensive player. That the way I'm looking at it, is he the best since Shaq? 
Like let or you know who I also used to think was a really good defensive player, Alonzo Mourning. Okay, but AD to me has more than even Alonzo Mourning. You all, I'm sorry, I am sweating up a storm. First of all, it's hot as hell in Africa. It's hot as hell. That's all y'all need to know. Not only that, um, the rainy seasons are kind of going away, and now we're we're about to get into the dry season, so it's hot. But I just took a shower and. I have all the shea butter on me. <laughs> Which is like, the shea butter is like melting as I'm sitting out here. I don't know why I put so much on, but I love shea butter. That's why you see the flies try to come and eat the shea butter off of my skin. But this anyway, is what I'm dealing with. Anyhow, anyway, but... Kevon Looney, I don't, he did, I don't think he did it on purpose. And Kevon Looney, I don't know him to be a dirty player. Um... So, you know something? I think he had I pent up to... anger with AD. That's <laughs> what I give. Him. That's why I think it's dirty. Yeah. I feel like he had pent up anger because AD has been coming for him or whatever. Yeah. And I guess, you know, maybe he just decided not to really pay attention yeah. when he was coming down. That's what it seemed like yeah. to me. I mean, they were both kind of fighting under the post and stuff. But I really feel, because it seems a little late because we're coming back. They had been down by, how much was it? When I first looked at it, it was like 90... It was 90 something over 86. Was it 99 over uh, 99 Golden State in 86 um, LA? I feel as though if 80 had stayed in there, they would have won. I feel like they would have won. It would have been very, very close. But I think that the Los Angeles Lakers would have won. So they were coming back. Anyway, that's not the case. 80 is out. Now it's 3 2. The other thing, though, with 80 that I know for sure, I don't think 80 can take a lot of pain. <laughs> No. Eddie cannot take a lot of pain. You know, he's just not one of those players. You know, he's not like Kobe or some Isaiah Thomas where we're going to wrap stuff up and we're going to, you know, work with a broken leg. He's not doing all of that. Eddie cannot take pain. And there's some people who can who can tolerate pain and there are people who can't. Like Have my, some ibuprofen yeah. and get back out there, Eddie. Yeah. Like my kids, they can tolerate pain, which is so weird because I cannot and I'm their mother. <laughs> I can't really tolerate pain like that. They can tolerate pain very well. Maybe get it from I cannot. <laughs> yeah, he, he can actually really tolerate pain. I cannot. I, 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 you know, I just, I've never been able to do that. Um, but I, it's just based on who the person is. Like, Amy I just cannot. feel like Amy so has I just to feel come like back. Like, I mean, this whole concussion, if, if it's a concussion, which, what, because he opened his eyes, I did not see, like, any redness in his eyes when he opened his eyes for a moment like that and um they said he was like kind of not he was having problems he seemed like with his balance so they didn't want to take any risk that he i guess knocked he will in the fall head. i'm off. sure he has some issue with his balance yeah <laughs> but like, you know so that's the only thing that really really worries me i i really hope he's not a concussion because i think the concussion protocol correct me if i'm wrong isn't it like some two or three days so, listen, if, I mean, if he don't really, come back, LeBron, you years. are going to have to basically break your neck to win the game you four. Have, and you, you have, have to get the two, bench two warmers. Up there in the post -game you have to bring the bench long. warmers out. And they have to be training all day You know tomorrow. something? Just like what you said. In fact, thank you for even bringing that up. <laughs> all right. Last time, you know, sorry, you guys. I, you know, I did not come out and talk about the last game. The game four. Which we sh I should have because they won that one. And, you know, I just like to talk about the games that they win. But anyway, last time they won that one. Kudos to Lonnie Walker. You know Lonnie Walker. Um, I saw something about him that when he was younger, he had suffered, like, abuse. You know, like, child abuse. When he was like child uh, sexual abuse or physical well, abuse? Well, it seemed to me like it was it was some kind of abuse. I'm I'm not I don't want to say sexual abuse. That's what I looked at it as. But I don't want to say that if that's not the case. But he suffered some abuse when he was younger, and he has talked about that. And um, just for 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 him to go from that still like stick to his basketball because yeah. sometimes when stuff like that happens to you as a child. Yeah, you know, you kind of lose all hopes of your dreams and all of that. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that he did it, he still continued, you know. And even earlier this year in the season, he actually was one of the starters. He started because 
remember that they have no players. They had that, yeah. they had a whole kind of like, they got rid of Russell, they got rid of Papev, they brought in uh, Rui Hachimura, who else they brought in? Austin Reeves, um, who I do believe was on the in the G League. And then they brought in, um, who else did they bring in? Lord have mercy. I think Schroeder was already there. Anyway, Lonnie Walker was one of those people who they were playing. And sometimes he will even get 20 plus points. Then all of a sudden you had all of these people. Oh, D'Lo, they brought D'Angelo Russell in. You, you brought them in. All of a sudden the starters changed and they benched him. Yeah. He did not. He did not pout. He 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 didn't like whatever. He he was the quintessential um, professional. He stayed on his grind. Stayed ready. You know, LeBron told him stay ready. You know, that's one thing I love about LeBron. He's such a leader. Yeah. You know, I'm sure he knows that. I'm sure that has to feel bad. He doesn't yeah. know how he feels because that has never happened to him with the <laughs> But. He, he can understand how yeah. that might feel. That's one thing I love about him. He's empathetic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he's considerate right. as a leader. That's what it takes to really be a true leader. It's not just about being an asshole. It's about preach. Have like a balance. Having a balance in what you do. You know, be able to be considerate. Be able to light a fire under them. You know, be able to be empathetic when you need to be. Mm -hmm. You know, be able to stay, you know, like be firm when you need to be. And that's why I love about it. But he told him to stay ready. And Lonnie stayed ready. So when his number was called, his tail was out there. How much point he gave them, you all? Wasn't it like 15 in the fourth quarter? The last time a player has given anybody 15 in the fourth quarter, guess what? This is going to spook you, man. It's going to raise your, the hairs on your body. Kobe was Kobe Bryant in 1997. Oh! May 8th. The same May 8th. It was May 8th. Oh, the Lord did that. It That's is crazy. like Kobe was there, yo. This is why I Listen, know. The, Let me tell you. I'm telling the you Lakers now. Are I'm going you know, to the Lakers going to the They are not only going to, they're going to win. Yeah. I remember in 2020, I just knew that they were going to wow. win. Wow. That's crazy. I was crazy. like, Kobe is not here. Kobe died this year. I know that they're going to win. Yeah, they were I like everybody just knew that the Lakers were not going to win. That was everyone was saying. All these teams were gonna beat the hell out of them, and I was like, no, they're not. They're actually gonna win, and they did. You know, I mean, and throughout the season before the whole COVID thing happened, they had been playing well. Anyhow, they had been playing well. I think people just get really tired of LeBron always winning. Like, they want to see someone else win. Haters. But let's just be honest. He like, this man talk. is great. He yes. is phenomenal. Yes. He yes. is almost on his way out anyway. Yeah. Like, let him just have these last five, they can. six they can. years they can. that he's going to be. I feel like he's no. going to be there for at least another five years. Because, you know, Bronny is now in college. His dream has always been to play with LeBron. No, I Bronny have... to play with his dad and yeah. LeBron vice versa. You know what I think? But I, I think... think as soon as LeBron gets to play with LeBron Oh, he's out. Season, he's out. He looks he tired. He like, wore pajamas. He, he's he like, wore pajamas he to did. that post. I don't care what nobody like, says. What, what, this man wore uh -huh. silk pajamas. He, it's like he was like... Uh, let me put on my PJs. Because as soon as I go home, I am laying my big self in the bed. I'm not even looking at Savannah. I'm not looking left. I'm not looking right. I'm going to go and be like, <laughs> shoot. So I'm going to go do a belly walk may, to the bed. So Savannah may be the one to say, honey, why don't you just wear your PJs so when you come, you don't have to try. Just, <laughs> you probably took a shower there. <laughs> and and then just have your flip flops on and just go, man. And just let I that mean, be a style. But hey, the pajamas, they were looking very silky, very expensive, you know, high <laughs> After quality. After all, Hugh Hefner, that's what he used to do. Like, he never used to wear anything but PJs all over the place, right? So, so he made I mean, it a style. I think I, I wish I could as... wear PJs. Those that I don't really like buttons. Yeah, so I would like, like to wear holes. something like the pants. Yeah, and maybe like a little T-shirt. If yeah. I could wear that all day, have my hoop earrings. Yeah, I'll be good to go. But I think that AD is gonna come back. I, I know it. I know it. And yeah. I think even if he doesn't come back. I Let believe the bench warmers are push. going to pull together because it's only yeah. one game. The Golden State have to oh, win yes, two yes, games. Yes, 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 they yes. have to win two games. I they know. only have one. Only one. one. And they're going to be in L.A. Just maintain I believe it. home court. That's it. You just got to defend your home court uh, on um, whenever they come back again. that, Friday? Friday. Yeah. 
all it's, that's all you gotta do. It's gonna be a good day Friday. I have a good day. Just feeling. defend your home court, man. Yeah. That is all we are saying right here. Defend your home court. Now, when you talked about the bench, when you talked about the bench warmers right quick, they're doing the call to prayer. Let me finish this right quick before we go. Please, um, what's his name? David Hound. Why don't you use um, Shaquille Harrison for those fresh legs? Yeah. And that, that, might, that might like mess up with Golden State, like how you did with Lonnie Walker. Bring in Shaquille Harrison. Bring in Max Christie. These players are pretty tall. I think Max Christie is like 6'5". Shaquille Harrison, is he like 6'8", 6'9"? Bring in these players. These, uh, Max Christie is like 20. I think Shaquille Harrison... I want to say he's... How old is he? I don't know, but he's in his 20s too. Bring these guys in. They showed you what they can do. You brought them in on, you know, Gabby Garbage time. Um, was it, it was game three, right? What happened? Max Christie was there for what? Six minutes, he gave you six points in six minutes. Yeah. Um, Shaquille Harrison, nine minutes, gave you nine points. Bring them in. Like on a day when you see that you guys are like not doing well or some tragedy happens. Like every two minutes, just say, hey, Ma you're up. Call their number. You're up for two minutes. Give your all for these two minutes. And then you call an ex. Like switch it up. Like make it whatever. Don't just stick to whatever. Forget what everybody else says. That's what I think you should do. Shaquille yeah. Harrison, Max Christie. What you all think? Yeah. And of course, Lonnie Walker. What you all think? I just think it's interesting that no one's talking about Tristan Thompson. I don't know why they got here. Or even oh, why? Yeah, it was why, Tristan why, Thompson. Why is Tristan, but Tristan on Thompson, the team? But the thing is, I want to bring Tristan Thompson. I'm going to bring those ones who showed me something garbage time. I didn't see Tristan Thompson showing me not too much. I think he got like four points. No, I'm not going to bring you Tristan Thompson. I don't even Tristan know why Thompson. the hell he's Because I don't know if he's Lakers. doing the work out there. But you see Max Christie. You see Shaquille Harrison. What they did in that time. Six minutes, six points. Nine minutes, nine points. When you were down, if you brought him for nine minutes, maybe he would have given you all nine points. Okay, then the, the, you wouldn't cut that lead down. Be willing when the game is running away from you to just bring, take a chance. To just change, change it up and take, take a chance. You did it with Lonnie Walker. I was happy to see that. And look what happened. You Success. got good results with that. So, anyhow, you guys get in the comments. Tell us what you think, man. Yes. Okay, we're off to go, you know.